Welcome back to Soma. There's something very large just busted a hole through that door up here. And, uh, well, it seems to be the only way we can actually go, so let's go through it and hope we don't catch up with it. I wonder if this, these, like, oil splotches on the ground are from it? Perhaps it's damaged? Or maybe they were here before. I'm not sure. I'm hyper aware of any noises now. I'm listening for the thing. What the heck was that light? It's like something was looking inside of there. these robots just hanging around everywhere creep me out because I just know one of them at some point is going to wake up. Suspected structural faults must be reported immediately. Well, that seems wise. Whoa! Fuck. I don't know why the lights went out, but I don't hear anything walking around. I think I just hear the door. That, that little door trying to close. I think that's a lock over there that I can probably take off. So I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, seems safe. Okay. through? Is that the only place I can go? Is towards where that thing was trying to break through? Because if so, I really don't want to go there. Ah, fuck. It didn't break through. I really don't want to open that. Uh, let's go this way. See if... Yeah, this is behind where it was locked before, so this is actually a new place. Maybe there's something here. I really do not want to unlock that. Even though I feel like I'm gonna have to. Oh, Jesus. Ah, shit. I didn't think I got too close. Fuck, that scared me. I wish I had a flashlight right about now. Still need an Omni tool. Oh, 
shit. Actually, I think that means I do have to go back and unlock that thing. I think that's the only way to go. Yep. Here we go. Do I hear footsteps? Am I hearing footsteps or is that something dripping? Onto the ground. You hear that? I think that's something dripping. Yeah, yeah, it's the goop dripping. Okay, good. I see a corpse over there. God, are there any lights I can turn on in this place? This goop is just coming out. It's coming out of everywhere. It's smeared on the ground. Doorways dripping from the ceiling. That's the Omni Tool, isn't it? Tab to see your inventory. Okay, cool. Oh, they should tell me how to use it. Omni Tool version 2.5. Smart access computer. Haimatsu Technologies. The OmniTool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable, to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the OmniTool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The OmniTool has a short-range signal useful for basic or automated actions, such as opening doors, while performing complex operations. The OmniTool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard blah 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 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the OmniTool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of tool-chip models, including but not limited to blah 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 blah. This thing sounds very useful. Okay, so simple stuff like opening doors I can do at range, complex stuff I have to connect it to. Uh, to be able to do it, gotcha. And it can be upgraded. The sound design is so good. Beautiful. I just want to throw everything in this room around. Alright, what is this, like, bloody hunk that I see here? Oh, Jesus, it's a headless body. Ugh.
Okay, so now I should be able to go forwards. Uh, but what if I go back? I should probably go back right now, because I'm pretty close. Because I said I could insert the Omni tool, right? Let's go do it. Oh god. Maybe I shouldn't go back. Let's inch our way forwards. Just right in there. Okay, the glass is broken, so closing the door doesn't really accomplish all that much, but it makes me feel a little bit safer. Okay, so what can I do from this thing? Looks like I can mess with the Omni tool from here. Status. Um, <laughs> look at the year. 2103. Setup. Remote access denied. Servers offline. Main power suspended. Program unreliable. Denied. Emergency systems. 13 days remaining. That's not good. Uh, what's this? Okay, what's the year? 2104. And this is 2103. Hmm. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Sub Simon Jarrett. Okay, that's me. Terminal scan. David Munchie. Toronto. Alright, most of this I can't understand, but it mentions my name and it mentions David Munchie and Toronto. Uh, hold on, let's check inventory first. Basic ductile suits 1 through 6. Okay, okay, unknown contamination, okay, in use, in use. All the power suits are stored at Omicron, wherever that is. I have no idea what to do with this information. Alright, what about this? Uh, welcome back, Louise Miron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Okay, so I need to actually find a tool chip. Same with this, not inserted. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've got the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. And a Cortex chip will actually change the AI. It will replace Helper Jane. Oh. Just open up the toolbox. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place for some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omni tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. 
Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. One of the images that it showed was the hierarchy of, like, privileges, and I think... Um, I think my Omni tool. Which, uh, what's, what's the name? Where did it say? It said the name of who owned the Omni tool. System status? Right? No, where was it? Oh, there we go. Louise Moran. Uh, I think he was at the complete bottom end of the hierarchy, so I think I have, like, the lowest access. Ah, well. What's in here? Oh, is that a chip that I can put in this thing? Yes. Tool chip found. Run an update to confirmed installation. All right, let's do it. Please don't brick my Omni tool. Tool chip security cipher updated. Okay. Guess that's the most I can do from here. Dare I go back there to see where the light came from? No, that seems like a really stupid idea. Searching around, it's patrolling. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, right, I need to go this way, which is where I just heard that noise. And where I just saw that light. Oh, Jesus. but I don't see anything. I think we're okay. It just went up into the air ducts, didn't it? really wants us to close behind me. I knew this was an underwater research station, but this is the first time I've actually been able to see it. far down we are. I wonder where the nearest people are. The nearest boat. The nearest land. And what the heck is this thing for? Here for years. You're not even gonna miss it a little bit. A power plant full of psychotic 
machines. I'll find a way to go. <laughs> That's cold, man. It's not Upsilon's phone, it got swarmed. Whatever. Seal that thing and get back to camp already. Roger that. So what exactly were they researching down here? It seems like robotics, but I mean, why do that underwater? What advantage does that have? Upsilon. Hmm, looks like a shark with those growths coming out of it. The ones that I've seen over the, the station. Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. structure yet they yet they can't shake thick structure gel is that a G I can't tell I'm bad at reading handwriting there's something ironic about touching water bottles underwater Observation towers up this way. I feel like at some point, maybe I'm gonna get something to break the locks, and I'll come back through here and visit these places. from the speaker. Oh, crap. My view's freaking out. What's that? It doesn't hurt anymore. What did I just do? Oh no, not in the air vent section. Oh god. Last time I saw it, it went up into the air vents. 
This is not a good place to be. The good thing is, it doesn't seem to be quiet. Which means I'll probably be able to hear it. It shouldn't be able to sneak up on me. Station control, that way. I think there's another way to go over there, but let's try this way. Is that a robot? I see a light and it seems to be moving a little bit. It is moving. I don't think it's the thing that I heard though, the one moving around. It looks like it might be immobile. Geothermal power plant. Oh, is that why they were doing the research here? They needed massive amounts of power? Well, I mean, it's not like you'd have to use geothermal energy to get massive amounts of power. Hmm. Yeah, that thing can't move, thankfully. Don't touch the structured gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect. Issue has been reported to SSE... Wolchek? Wolchesk? Something like that. Wait. Can't confirm its effects on WAU. What is WAU? Is it being kept alive by these things? Don't. Uh, I can't reconnect it. Do I have to take it? I think I have to take it out. I think I might kill it though. Is there nowhere else for me to go? No, I think I have to. I need it. Why? I was so okay. happy. Yeah, I took away its power source. Obviously testing consciousness on robots or something like that. Manual boot. Radio signal blocked, insufficient power. Hmm. 
Hmm. Locked. See, is there anything more I can do from here, or do I need to get back into the vent? I might need to get back into the vent. Right. Or, oh no, I can press these buttons. Oh, did it too quickly. Alright. Messed it up. Okay, it's doing its thing. Coolant. There we go. Must be one of the geothermal vents down there. Oh, what is? What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey! Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Ah, oh, signal... Damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. God. It's gotta be really hot in here. Oxygen unavailable. Station diagnosis unavailable. Uh, power restored. Recorded downtime. 143 days. Power production was down for 143 days? That's a long time. Inner hole integrity, multiple breaches. Minor perforations in the subcoat. Multiple breaches, that's not good. Fucking place is falling apart. Is there something walking around? Oh god, yes, there is.
should I go? Let's go this way. Up there is light. Let's stay in the dark. Look at these growths. They're so strange. They look like rock and metal and wires and but biological at the same time. Things not coming in here, is it? Shit, this is a dead end. Seems like that would burn me. Uh. Yep. Oh, there's the pressure over over there. I need to get to the wheel. Uh, wait, it's coming back. Did it see me? Shit, I think it saw me. I think it's got good vision. Yeah, it saw me. next. Ah, maybe not. Oh god. awfully loud. sentient robot. Hmm. This looks helpful. Alright, where am I? You are here. I'm in control station B. And I'm trying to get to communications, right? Okay, well I'm not lost yet, so I don't quite need to use it, but I'm probably going to be lost soon. Oh, God. 
god. Do I want to touch that? Hmm. There's gotta be something important in there. Look at that light. It's illuminating a piece of paper. Uh, I need to find an ID number. Lockdown process initiated. Terminal for details. <laughs> These are cute. Amy's sketchbook. So I guess it's Amy that's been doing all these. Yeah, somebody's obviously been sleeping here. Hmm, that's where I need to go. It can't be as simple as just pulling this lever, right? Nope, of course not. Yeah, it must be Amy that's been staying here. Sleeping here, drying her clothes here. God, these clothes are filthy. Just full of tears and stuff. Alright, so there's a bunch of different ways to go. Looks like there's three different ways. Just right now. Over there, over there, and over there. But I think I'm going to save those for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.